Uh, first of all, I want to just give credit to Mississippi State. I think that they're a tournament team in the making. Uh, Coach Purcell does, has done and his staff a great job coming in uh, <clears throat> and being able to do what he did. Um, I can only admire it. I remember my year one, it didn't look anything like this. But I also didn't have a pro in Jessica Carter on my roster with a bunch of other good guards. Um, I'm extremely proud of our team. Um, I'm extreme, extremely proud of everyone that has gotten us to this part. It's only game two, uh, but this is year five, and year five should feel like this. I thought both teams did justice to the fans. It was an incredible game. Uh, we felt like we didn't have a first uh, good half. And so we tried to build the momentum in the second half, and, and we were fortunate to come out of a ruckus environment like this with a win. Two good defenses out there today. The year seemed to get stronger mm -hmm. as the game went on. Just yeah. Kind of that yeah, I mean, holding, them, holding a team like Mississippi State to six points in the fourth quarter, is in, that, that's incredible. That just shows the character of our team. Uh, we're extre we, we really believe in, in the defensive end. Uh, we believe in it so much that uh, it's what it's the engine to our offense. And so we feel like when we get stops, good things can happen. I was, I was incredibly proud of our group, the way we locked down. I think our defense is strong because we're versatile. So sometimes if we, know, we need to go big, we'll go big. But if we need to go small, we'll go small. And so I was really proud of, of our group with that. It's my thing since 2007, since the <laughs> oldest one here. What does that mean to come here and get a win? Get a win? That, that, that tells you how hard it is to win here. You know, um, just an incredible environment. Um, and and, and we're, we're working to build something like this. You know, we're getting there, but uh, Mississippi State has been to the Final Four. And uh, we haven't yet, but we'd like to get there. And I remember our first year coming in here, and it was like 11,000 fans. And... Uh, I remember telling my husband, I said, I want to, you know, I want to build a, a program like this. But I would never say in public, right, because you're not supposed to say that. But I just admired just the fan support. And they came out in droves. Don't y'all have a bowl game? They came out. It was packed. Um, and so, you know, it just shows where the program has come, you know. I don't think my job is done, y'all, here at Ole Miss until I – helped a team win the national championship, but I'm only five years in <laughs> at, at Ole Miss. So this is a, for me, this is a huge uh, win in my book as we continue to grow. You guys took the lead in the third quarter with, um, I mean, Angel yeah. just really got hot. Mm -hmm. did, did you kind of recognize that and yeah. want to feed her? Well, I told Angel in the first half, I said, listen, they, they're going through Carter. We got to go through you. Everything needs to go through you. And uh, when Maya uh, hurt her ankle, uh, I think like four games ago, we were forced to play Angel at the point. It was, at the time, our team was like going crazy, but it ended up being a blessing. So Maya was, I mean, Angel was able to be at the point. And when she has the, the ball in her hand, she's a problem. She's a, she has, she's a problem on the ball and off the ball, but she has grown to be a problem on the ball. Um, and, and she needs to do that for drafts uh, perspectives anyway. You get what I'm saying? So really, really proud of, of her. And um, Angel is a baller, you know. Uh, Angel is generational, as is Steph Curry, you know, uh, Dame Lillard, little guards that are just explosive and playing in a big woman's game. And so I'm just glad she's on our team. Anything else? Thanks.